Welcome to Talking Funny. It's the funny, silly talk show. That's on the, the internet. It's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we have a Twitch channel. We had a viewer on Twitch last week, Noob. Uh, hello, my name is Sasha, international hilarious comedian. Joined us always by my a very lovely, funny sidekick, the Noob. Uh, only, of course, the Noob uh, does not talk because when he was a little kid, he watched his father kill his mother. Big whoop. Uh, but how are you doing? Big ups to you, noob. Good to see you. Uh, you having a good week, buddy? No, that's the vibe. That's the vibe I'm getting to. Uh, we get Ken is wondering, uh, what time does the show begin? And helpful user Octane14 says, 6 p.m. PST, in case you can't figure out uh, the 9 8 Central. Uh, Dan Izzo sees his comments. We get uh, Dan, are you a mod for the talking funny? Oh, Ken. All right. Ronald says, whoopee, time for another show. Uh, my friend in California says she can't watch the show because they don't have 9 Central there. I know, noob. We got to find a way to break into California, but they just don't have 9 Central. Ramona says she's been sad and gloomy all day. Remember, it's Tuesday, and now she's super happy. Best part of my week. What show are you guys? <laughs> You guys watching? Oh boy, and Lorna loves Snorik the head, the head hog. All right. Anyway, a lot of comments coming in, but all this is distracting from what we have. Uh, we <laughs> have a funny, silly show. Jay Taylor says, "Stupid o'clock in Manchester, UK." Okay. Anyway, talking funny is the funny, silly talk show. I want to say hello to the world's most dangerous audience. Remember. Uh, you're only dangerous if you join the Silly Club, and you can do that if you go to talkingfunny2020.com slash Silly Club, or just go to the website and click the button. You get this free membership card in the mail, and then you get all sorts of funny, silly emails. Uh, isn't that right, Army the Octopus? <laughs> it's good to see you, and let's say hello to the world's prettiest, although I can't say that anymore because I don't know if you saw Lunda last week, but <laughs> haba haba. Uh, but the second prettiest lady in Talking Funny World is a uh, pretty baby shortcake. Lunda Bites. Lunda Bites. Well, she was having a bad week, too. Uh, Sonic background, a sneak peek at next week's guest, Ben Schwartz. No, no. Sasha, or Sasha really talking funny today, says Lorna, it's unlike Donkey Kong Country. Uh, no, I have Sonic behind me because of our guest this week, but we'll tell that in a minute. We want to say hello to the Laugh Cougar. Hello to the Laugh Cougar. Now, good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Wonderful to be here. Uh, hilarious as always, Laugh Cougar. But uh, now what we're going to do is bring on this week's guest. You may know him if you are uh, ever watch an improv comedy show. You may have seen uh, this guy because he does a lot of improv comedy. He's ill. He was even called a legend of the improv comedy world. Uh, though he's shy, he may not agree, but you may have also seen him in the Sonic commercials for the lovely Sonic restaurant. Uh, let's say hello to Mr. TJ Jagodowski. Sir, how are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing swell. TJ, it's nice to see you, buddy. You are uh, a big fan. Big fan. Hey, we are also big fans. Uh, tell us a little bit, uh, how are you faring as an improviser and an actor, how's the pandemic treating you? I love it. I love every bit of it, man. It's just just thinning thinning out the herd. There'll be fewer <laughs> of us when we get back to it. It'll be it'll be nice. We're really clearing out a lot of the fluff from the system here. That's that could be what nature is doing, man. That's an interesting <laughs> perspective. It's quite optimistic, uh, and I'm so happy to hear it. We'll be down uh, to like maybe four theaters left in the country. We'll we'll all know where to go. It'll be that, perfect. That's right. Uh, so you were a frequent performer at the IO Theater in Chicago, and that obviously a uh, shut down. Yeah. Uh, how's that? How's that news holding up for you? <laughs> oh, it's still, still, it's still good. Still, <laughs> I guess. All right. <laughs> what I'm looking for here is is a raw wound, TJ, because I can't uh, find it. I got can't it. find it. 
Okay, no. we like to pick it those. Uh, Lorna says, I, I love the orange cream slush is best. That's a good one. I thought she's being a non sequitur. Then I made the connection. He <laughs> said. Yeah. From Sonic. Ramona wants to know, uh, usually she hates commercials, but she laughs during the Sonic ones. Are those scripted or do you improvise a lot? We used to improvise just about exclusively. And then there was some changes, some ad agency changes. The, the commercials got shorter and we had to get like right to the point. So they basically started started scripting them by the, uh, by the end. But we used to get to play just a ton. Um, yeah. Did you get to script them at least, or were other people writing lines for you? Usually, they they brought the lines in, and then they would run them by us and say, "What do you think?" And then we could add our input and stuff. But it, it was uh, it got down to where there was just enough time for like Pete to say something, me to say something, Pete to say something, and then show the food. So we couldn't really like screw around much, you know. Like, tell me, like the genesis of this. Obviously, it became quite iconic. How did that, when you first did, did your first one, how big did you think that was going to be? Tiny. We, we were, Pete and I were in a, 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 like a happy hour bar at like the Sheridan in Flagstaff, Arizona with a, a napkin saying like, well, if they show all three that we made, we, we, could, we could make rent for the, you know, for the next couple of months. And then it was 18 years later and we'll, we'll find out if they're done with us. Because this coming month, we'll see if they're they're finally through with us or not. Oh, wow. Uh, I think I saw another Sonic commercial recently that wasn't you guys. We and are thought, being uh -oh. moved towards the door. I'll tell oh. I'll tell you that. I, I think we are being ushered on our on our way. So, do you hang out ever with like the the insurance lady Flo? We almost got invited to a bar backyard barbecue at which she would have been. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, and we were hoping that our friend Laurel Kopic, who was like Jan for um, for Toyota, that that's right. Oh yeah, we could all get together, and that then then we'd be targeted by by Russians for a missile at that point, where they just wipe out all the consistent <laughs> spokespersons for all uh, you know the Can you hear me guy who's back? You know. If oh, they, that's right. Yeah, just lay waste to us. The a, where's the beef lady? Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. I would imagine that you guys are all so rich now. You must see each other at the same cool clubs. You oh, know, yeah. Like the very disco, expensive ones. Discotheques mostly. <laughs> Hammond, Indiana, we meet at discotheques on Cal Ave, out on Calumet Ave, and just, and just blow money fast, man. <laughs> That's wonderful. Alex wants to know, are those dog nudes behind you? I, mean, I guess as nude as dogs get, as nude as, nude as dogs would want to be, I suppose. That's true. Um, they're 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 prints of paintings by a friend of ours named Iris Scott of dogs kind of shaking off the wet. So yeah, yeah, it's good. They're, they're not done. nude, but it's pretty sensual. I look at the nude; he's shaking off the wet. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good nude. <laughs> we got to get a finger painting of the nude shaking <laughs> off the wet. <laughs> it would be too hot. <laughs> hey TJ, are you from the region? Elizabeth um, wants to know. I am not from this region. I am originally from New England. I was uh, raised in Holyoke, Massachusetts. Holyoke, Massachusetts. So western, western Mass, near the foot of the Berkshire Mountains. Ooh, the Berkshires. Yeah. Uh, Ken, because we mentioned uh, where's the beef lady, he helps us out with a Wikipedia link Gee. and reminds us that she's dead. Noob, she was a, a favorite of yours, wasn't she? The where's the beef lady, yeah. Sorry or too. loud for Clara. It wasn't recent, right? I mean, we're not this. We, this news isn't breaking, is it? It could be. It, oh, it may have just happened. Uh, oh, Alex also says, "Where's the beef? Lady is dead," um, and then follows up with "Super nude." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if those comments were meant as a prayer, but they work well. Uh, oh boy, TJ, uh, I've got a clip. The noob and I were watching some Sonic clips, and we did notice. Uh, a recent one took like a really weird dark turn at the end. And maybe okay. you can watch this with us and sort of explain what what was this one about. I'll try. These little grillers are the ultimate snackable grilled cheese. So great, man. Like the perfect comfort food. Yeah, I know. And I'm all about comfort. You oh, yeah. know that. Triple cotton t-shirt, my bathrobe, my toe bunnies, hip and hop. What's oh. up, boys? Yeah, it is kind of weird that you leave the house though in your pajamas. Oh, no, man. This is business casual. What business? The sex trade. Are you serious, TJ? Yeah, uh, that was weird. So the and, sex and you trade. Guys have a, a problem with that, or 
<laughs> well, we we're just wondering. It was kind of different. It got real serious. Like your character suddenly was given a dark backstory. Maybe he works in. I'm, you know, I'm, having, I'm having a hard time hearing you, Sasha. I don't know I, if if that's just me. Is. Uh, how about now? Uh, <laughs> you know what? Talk to the noob for a second. I'm going to hit refresh. Here, Laugh Cougar, help them out. That's right. Oh, I, I love your commercials. Can you hear me, TJ? I can hear the Laugh Cougar, yes. Oh, I enjoy nothing more than just watching Peter Gross on the screen. And Oh, there's Sasha. Let's see what he says. Can you hear me now? I can, my friend, yes. From the guy, <laughs> what he says. <laughs> Life Cougar, you're great. So anyway, it was weird that your character suddenly got a backstory. Maybe he works in the illicit sex trade. Uh, was that like from the beginning? You knew that, and yeah, he... I mean that was always a secret. That was always a secret for me. If you go back and watch some of the early ones, you can kind of see it play through the eyes a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do we that. We don't want to just. We didn't want to just like hit the product, hit the product, hit the product. You know, like just have the product there while you tell stories. That's that's kind of what you know. I've always thought commercials are for is to like build a narrative, you know, a challenging narrative for a consumer public, and then just, just have be holding a product, you know, that you want to associate with that while you go. So, yeah. Well, the best ones are, to be yeah, honest. Right. And, uh, oh, boy. So uh, that's great. Uh, tell us a little bit, like, for real, when you go out, how often do people say, hey, are you the, the guy from the Sonic commercials? Not, Back when you used to go out, you know. Yeah, not, not too, too much. Yeah, right, in those days. Um, not too, too much. But when they did, they always wanted to know if I got free Sonic food for, for life. That was, yes. uh, oh, <laughs> no kid. Honest to God, right there. Yeah. That is always question, always question number one. Do I get it? Do I get it free for life? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't. But they, but they pay us well enough that I, I could, I could afford it. You know, like I could, I could pay for it. Um but yes. also, like after those days, where you're around it for for you know twelve hours, fourteen hours, you're you're okay being away from it for a little bit after after that. I believe that. Yeah. Uh, it's clear, says Ken, that uh, TJ and Pete are good actors. How do you hide your hatred for each other on set? That's a great question. <laughs> we let them edit it out. We 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 rely on post production to cut a, to cut most of that animus that uh, animus out of there. We do that too yeah. as well. Pete and I were lucky enough to be really good friends before we were cast separately, but we were lucky enough to be really good friends before before they hired us, and uh, and we remain we remain really good friends to uh, to this day. So, oh, well, for real, you were cast totally independent of one another. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's yeah, wild. They, they, they knew they wanted Peter, and then they got down to I think it was me, and it was they they weren't sure about me. They were between me, uh, another improviser I, uh, named Pat Shea, and another improviser named Neil McNamara. Wow. I think that they were they were between those those three, if oh, I remember amazing. correctly. And I was luckily chosen of the of the Pat's three. life. If you, I don't know if you've seen it lately, but it is in a tailspin, man. Yeah, it's a real tank, oh. a real tank job. And Neil's been you know been in trouble for forever. So I I, I was yeah. really I was really fortunate. <laughs> Oh man, I, I want to bring. We got to get Pat on the show. I think. In touch well, with the, the bone, you know. Facility he's in, right? First, you yeah. Well, well, that facility. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, the noob used to hang out at that facility <laughs> right after the whole thing. You know, it was. We know he's he's a good place. He's right. It's, yeah, good. It, it's run by the state. <laughs> yeah. Ken says, no offense, but fuck Pat Shea. It's what we're all thinking. Yeah. Not thinking, but, you know, like... <laughs> uh, TJ, will you play a game with us, Bobby? I would love to. All right. I've been fan of the show since um, Who's Got the Soda, which I think was week one. That was week one. That's right. I uh, played, where's Who's Got the Soda. He did. Uh, well, the lucky game that you get to play is called uh, Who in This World is Even Happy Anyway? Okay. And, uh, I love it. It's on you to find who in this world is even happy uh, anyway. And this this game is like we don't even have numbers or colors for the different doors. You know, it's so much on we in this one, buddy. <laughs> Where are we going first, TJ? Let's try middle bottom row. Oh, you go right for the, the good one. Oh, oh, no. just, it's just a straight up penis. <laughs> and it's not <laughs> happy. <laughs> no, he doesn't look happy. <laughs> Don't look happy at all. No, 
I'm glad That's we got that bad. one right up on the screen, right at That's the top. I kind of <laughs> saw what looked like hairy nuts peeking out underneath, and I was like, well, it can't be that. And no, then it turned out it was. It really yeah, was. usually it's that. Uh, yeah. Usually it's a little more subtle, but this week we just went straight up a, a, a hairy penis. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow that arrow right up to the center. Right up. Middle Top center. center. What do you got? Nope. She's not happy. No. Uh, She's got these shriveled arms, too. Yeah. Those, those, are, those are atrophied. Um, yeah. Let's go to her right. Um, to her right. Oh, top to right. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Yes, yes, go there. I'm uh, sorry. Yes, her left. You're right. Her left. Okay. Her, her left. Yes. All right. Oh no. No. There's this fellow named Beefus. Not happy. He's not happy. No, no, no. All right, let's go lower, lower left to the left of the the wainer there. <laughs> yeah, to our left. Oh, what do we got? Oh, up? this guy's not happy. No, He's got a little anxious. <laughs> oh. All right, let's go to the last one to the yeah. This guy? That, yep, let's try that one. Nope. Wow. It's not happy. This dude even has ice cream, TJ. And that's not making him happy. Nope. And he's hot. He's do- he's like dog hot too, like that. that Sexy long- hot? Do you mean or yeah, maybe yeah, like dude, <laughs> dude dog long tongue hot. Yeah, shaking off that wet. He and the wainer have the same tongue. They do. All right. Well, I think we've, I think we got this down to like one option here, right? It's got to be who's even happy. Nope. Oh no. <laughs> Nobody's happy, TJ. No, not even the Charlie Brown. He's like a, he's kind of a Charlie Brown ish. Yeah. Ish. Right? Knock off. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Chuck Gray. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's Chuck Beige, the and Charlie that... Brown knockoff. <laughs> Probably the source of his unhappiness is, you know, <laughs> can never quite live up to the standard of Charlie oh, Brown. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, that was, that was all tragedy. That's a sad game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and as dog hot as those naked dogs on TJ's wall, says Lorna. <laughs> and uh, his tongue is too long to lick the ice cream. So that's why he's sad. That, that makes sense now. Yeah, pointer guy should be bringing them antidepressants from Mr. Reed Paley. Oh, I don't know if Reed Paley, a musician who I, I'd say this, he embodies this whole game we just played, man. He, he sings, his singing is oh, phenomenal. Really? He's so unhappy and we oh. love him for it. Uh, <laughs> Phil Donahue has nothing on this show. <laughs> That's true. Look at this. Can TJ be the guest every what? week from Elizabeth? I would, yeah. I'll, I'll be back next week. If you'll have me, I'll be back next week. Right no, we got a few weeks booked, but we'll call you. Okay. You know, We'll, we'll talk right. to you about it. I mean, are they solid? Book solid? Who, who is it? Uh, well, I don't say till the end of the show, so they <laughs> just stick around. I, I think see. you're working on it while the show's happening. Uh, Ken's got an important question for you. The Sonica is being replaced <laughs> by Chuck Gray and Harry <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> Of all the Chuck Grays, he's the Chuck Grayest. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I think I don't know. I th- right now they have like eight different families out there and in, in cars and stuff. So yeah, might be replaced by a whole bunch of people. If 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 indeed we are being replaced, but it feels it feels that way. Well, all I know is if I see Pat Shea in one of those cars, I'm gonna throw a shit fit and I'm gonna boycott. <laughs> Breathing down. <laughs> I mean, I don't need the commercials anymore. I, the whole point was to do them until I got on this show, and I've done that now, so I can, I can, I can retire. TJ, you know who ghosted us for an episode? No. Uh, Zap from American Gladiators ghosted us. She was super excited to be on the show, and then she just blew us off, and it didn't. Really? And you yeah. think Gladiators would be more stalwart? You know, you think if you could count on someone, it would be an American Gladiator, for Christ's sake. I think she like checked out the link finally, like right before she came to the show. <laughs> it's like, uh, All I the don't know. Stuff she seemed cool with. She was really she. And then, <laughs> hey, this is crazy. Uh, who were we? We were talking about before the show, TJ. We were talking about Justin Kaufman on the radio. Yeah, and he just commented, "A uh, super sad game, like the game Noob's parents played before." <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> Uh, Justin, we were talking about you, and you've got like a three or four minute lag because the game's been over for a while. Uh, uh, yeah, 
we were saying how much we miss how much we miss seeing him on a regular on a regular basis yeah time. well mostly uh, how much we miss the frying pan segment which was mostly a, a, another guy but yeah it was you nice know, if, if, if if i could plug something i'd like to plug frying pan um a podcast about the frying pan oh um, that's great you won't, you won't be disappointed uh a friend of mine used to go on justin's show and and pitch these items and i think i think people would really like this podcast it's called frying pan a podcast about the frying pan i i second that that's great mm-hmm. what a great endorsement tj we have to go because we got to get to the rest of the show on the musical guest but for real buddy thank you for playing with us for hanging out and uh you know if if we're ever really hard up i'll, I'll let we'll call you maybe oh, we'll like letterman you. and tony randall if you need if you need me i don't do anything and i'm and i'm always around so Love I'm it, man. Thrilled to have been able to be on here. I thank you so much for asking me. Of course. We'll talk to you soon, TJ. Take care. All right. Buddy. TJ Jagodowski, he had no links to share, but he does want you to go through the frying pan. Uh, so, hey, we're going to get to the musical guest. In a second, we got a, I've seen a sneak peek of this act. It's going to be phenomenal. We got Mooney Hart, uh, who's going to do an awesome musical act for us. But first, Whoopi, it's statues. Uh, my internet like broke, <laughs> but it's fixed now. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Mooney Heart. Phenomenal, Mooney. Uh, we get Bill's as first talent he's ever seen on this show. Thank you. And that department has more animal furniture than human furniture. <laughs> That's correct. And Ken wants to know why is the whiskey so far away from the animals? <laughs> oh, boy. That was really cool. Was that the Sonic the Hedgehog theme song? No, it wasn't. It was an original piece um, written by a mystery pianist who did not want to be shown. He ran away already. He's gone. We had a mystery penis. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that. <laughs> yes. Picking, we're picking up wine <laughs> with tonight. Uh, Mooney, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. We'll see you around. Take care. Thanks Mooney. for having me. Of course. Mooney Hart, ladies and gentlemen, with a very cool talent. Laugh Cougar, what do you think of that cool music, buddy? You know what I love about this show? 
you never know what the theme's going to be. And tonight it's naked dogs. <laughs> pretty much. I, I got a joke for you. Please. Uh, I, I know TJ was the guest, and I think he also, like me, believes that laughter is the best medicine. What do you call a lazy baby kangaroo? A pouch potato submitted by Jacob Scholl, Winchester, California. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, hey, Laugh Cougar, I think you, you should have stopped reading your Laffy Taffy before. No, it's the, uh, Reader's Digest. It's um, oh. Laughter is the best medicine. We got Bob says Mystery Penis was revealed in the game already. A uh, way to bring it back around. Uh, Alex has <laughs> a mystery peninsula. And uh, Reed Paley wants to know who's the dog. Oh, we should have found out who's the dog. Alex says, Mooney, we're cut from the same cloth. I buy it. Uh, Mooney's great. And Alex is great. You are two people who have definitely been cut from cloth. Uh, Left Cougar should provide the zip code, not just the town. It's for us. 30612. That's great. So uh, we're going to do a, a talent this week from a guest uh, with a really cool talent. The world's most talented audience. Except nobody submitted anything, so we don't have that. Uh, so what I mean to say is, hey, if you want to be... An, highlighted in that segment of the world's most talented audience if you have any talent like we had to guy drink water really fast and i don't know what lunda did she kind of hung out on the couch and <laughs> i've i've got a talent sasha oh what's that talent body i can't do it right now okay well what you can do laugh cougars you can email talking funny at gmail.com and uh then we'll put you on the show and you can be in the world's most talented audience. So I'm hearing my videos really laggy. Is that? You seem okay now. Yeah, it's we're having internet problems, man. But uh, anywho, that's all we got for the show this week, guys. This is a, it was a quickie, but we had a fun time. Uh, TJ was great. Mooney was great. The noob is you got such a grin, buddy. Uh, remember, anytime if you want to call and be on the show, you can go to talkingfunny2020.com slash call. And we'll just put you on the show. We'll put anybody on the show. And don't forget, I am working on my erotic fiction, My Stepbrother, The Sex Murder Hornet, by under the pseudonym <laughs> Dick Feelings. Uh, so watch for that. Great book. And uh, you can read that soon. Uh, Account admin says, I can poop in five minutes or less. Ronald says, no, Augie. I wonder how old he is this week. <laughs> That's a great question. Uh, I wonder how old he is this week. Uh, and then what I do want to tell you about next week's show, it's going to get real, guys. Next week's going to get real because it's actually going to be, I'll tell you guys because you're here, but it's going to be an episode of Talking Seriously with Paul and Steve. And our guest next week is Mark Bratton, who is a former Chicago cop. And we're going to chat with him about being a cop in Chicago and all that crazy shit that's going on right now uh, with musical guests, Rom Velvet. And they're like a fun brass band you guys will enjoy. And, of course, we'll play silly games. You know, all sorts of fun stuff. Anywho, uh, that's the show, guys. We had a great time with you. I hope you have a wonderful week. Noob, buddy, big ups to you. Laugh Cougar, any final words, my friend? Just stay safe and, uh, you know, Read. And how about you, Pretty Debbie? Oh, I still don't like that Lunda. Yeah, that Lunda, I know she rubbed you the wrong way. Maybe we'll get the two of you on at the same time to chat about it. It's been fun. We'll see you next week with the real former Chicago cop and hopefully some of the world's most dangerous audience showing off some awesome talents. Bye-bye. She's six feet tall, sleeps in the kitchen with her feet in the hall. She's got a sister, she's tall and keen. She runs her tongue like an English queen. Bow, wow, 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 I got those bow, wow. I got a gal, 
she rides a riverboat. She can make a good mule leave his oats. She's got a sister, she's tall and rough. She's a hometown gal and she knows her stuff. Bow wow 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 wow, I got those bow wow boots.